Welcome back. A high desert man is taking the concept of indoor outdoor living way beyond French doors opening out to a swimming pool. Rex Beasley has built a home with a detachable living room that floats on air. Rex Beasley's living room is like a ship ready to leave the dock. With one touch of a button, the whole room rises and literally floats out towards the swimming pool. The way this mechanically moves and is powered is it has literally an umbilical cord that brings to it electrical energy and air. And the air powers the air bearings and it actually rises up about an inch on the air and it can move anywhere. A woman in her high heels could move it if she wants to. Beasley is an environmental designer and an engineer who believes architecture that changes shape increases its functionality, changes the ambience, and makes small spaces become big ones. The way I got involved in this is that I am frugal. I like the whole aspect of a few things doing many things. And I spent many years developing systems where something became more than just one thing. It could be many things. Sort of like the Swiss Army knife. It's so many different things. This is in a way, the Swiss Army knife with architecture. Beasley refers to the living room as a Rio, meaning room inside outside. The bathroom, with its detachable roof counterbalanced by a large rock, is Neo, meaning naked inside outside. One of the things that's really wonderful about it is that you have the privacy and security that you feel indoors and protected, but yet. It's open to the, the skies and you see the stars and the moon and you're very connected to nature. Connecting people who spend most of their lives indoors to the natural environment is a primary motivation for fluid architecture. The house also breathes. We find that a static house that, that has stale air um, is oppressive and when you have the house breathing and the openness and nature coming through it, um, you enjoy the home or the whole uh, aspect of the home's energy requirements go down. You're connected to nature. It's very healthy. Beasley has long seen extravagantly large homes as unhealthy and impractical. Here, he's using technology to create simplicity. There's been a transition to me in the last few years. And it no longer is so cool uh, or, or, or the way to impress people to have a great big gorgeous ostentatious house. And what I'm showing you here is the ability to have a small space be spectacular. And it's about a quality of life, not a size of a home. Just absolutely amazing. Beasley's Morongo Valley home was previously standing before he set to work on it. He says it's not a difficult renovation to make fluid architecture, but he doesn't know of anyone else who is doing it. He's already working on another home and says that he's eager to work with architects to push the concept further. Coming up next, the joyful musical parody, Menopause the Musical, returning to the Annenberg Theater. I'll tell you when you can see this.